Understanding hydrochlorothiazide, a common diuretic. This medication is widely used and trusted by healthcare professionals. Hydrochlorothiazide, often called HCTZ for short, is a type of medicine known as a diuretic. It's one of the most commonly prescribed diuretics in the world. Diuretics are sometimes called water pills. They help your body manage fluid levels. They work by helping your body get rid of excess salt and water. This process takes place primarily in your kidneys. This can be really helpful for people with high blood pressure. By reducing the amount of fluid in your blood vessels, it lowers the pressure inside them. Think of it like this. When you have too much fluid in your body, it's like a balloon that's too full of air. The more fluid, the higher the pressure. It puts extra pressure on the walls of your blood vessels, which can be harmful over time. HCTZ helps to let some of that extra fluid out, easing the pressure. This can make a significant difference in your overall health. HCTZ is a commonly prescribed medication. It's often the first choice for treating high blood pressure and fluid retention. It's been around for a long time and is generally considered safe and effective. Its long history of use speaks to its reliability. However, like all medications, it can sometimes cause side effects. Don't worry though, these side effects are usually mild and manageable. Most people who take HCTZ experience only mild side effects, if any at all. It's important to follow your doctor's instructions carefully. And in this essay, we'll discuss those side effects in detail, so you know what to expect and when to seek medical attention. Understanding your medication is key to managing your health effectively. Doctors prescribe HCTZ or hydrochlorothiazide for a variety of reasons, but the most common one is to treat high blood pressure. High blood pressure, also known as hypertension, is a serious condition that can lead to heart disease, stroke, and other health problems if left untreated. HCTZ helps to lower blood pressure by reducing the amount of fluid in your blood vessels, which decreases the pressure on the walls of your arteries. This makes it easier for your heart to pump blood throughout your body, improving overall cardiovascular health. Besides high blood pressure, HCTZ can also be used to treat fluid retention, known as edema, caused by various conditions. This includes heart failure, liver disease, and kidney problems, which can all cause the body to retain excess fluid. By removing excess fluid, HCTZ can help to reduce swelling in your legs, ankles, and feet, making it easier to move and reducing discomfort. It's important to remember that HCTZ is a prescription medication, which means it should be taken exactly as directed by your healthcare provider. Always follow your doctor's instructions and never share your medication with others. If you have any questions or concerns, consult your healthcare provider for more information. While HCTZ is generally safe, it can cause some side effects. It's important to be aware of these so you can manage them effectively. Most of these side effects are mild and tend to go away on their own as your body adjusts to the medication. Your healthcare provider can offer guidance on how to cope with them. Some common side effects include frequent urination. This is because HCTZ helps your body get rid of extra fluid. Since HCTZ helps your body get rid of extra fluid, it's normal to urinate more often, especially when you first start taking it. Make sure to stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. This effect usually lessens over time as your body gets used to the medication. You may notice a significant improvement in your symptoms. Electrolyte imbalances can occur, as HCTZ can cause your body to lose electrolytes like potassium, sodium, and magnesium. Regular blood tests can help monitor these levels. These imbalances can lead to fatigue, muscle cramps, and weakness. Eating a balanced diet rich in these electrolytes can help. Dizziness or lightheadedness is another side effect. This can be particularly noticeable when you change positions quickly. These are more common when you first start taking HCTZ or if you stand up too quickly. To minimize this, try standing up slowly. This is often related to changes in your blood pressure. Monitoring your blood pressure regularly can help you stay on top of this. Some people experience headaches, especially when they first start taking HCTZ. These can usually be managed with over-the-counter pain relievers. Over-the-counter pain relievers can usually help. Always follow the dosage instructions on the label. Remember, these side effects are common and usually nothing to worry about. Your doctor can provide reassurance and additional tips. However, if they persist or become bothersome, don't hesitate to talk to your doctor. They can adjust your dosage or suggest alternative treatments to help you feel better. While dizziness and lightheadedness are common side effects of HCTZ, 
It's important to be cautious, especially when you first start taking the medication. These side effects can increase your risk of falls, especially in older adults. To minimize the risk of dizziness, make sure to stand up slowly from a sitting or lying position. Take your time and let your body adjust. Avoid making sudden movements that could lead to a fall. If you experience severe dizziness or lightheadedness, especially if it's accompanied by fainting, contact your doctor immediately. This could be a sign of a more serious problem. It's also a good idea to talk to your doctor if you have any concerns about falls or if you have a history of falling. Section 5, Electrolyte Imbalances. Understanding the Risks. As mentioned earlier, hydrochlorothiazide can cause your body to lose electrolytes, particularly potassium. Potassium plays a crucial role in many bodily functions, including muscle contractions and nerve signals. When your potassium levels drop too low, a condition called hypokalemia, you may experience symptoms like muscle cramps or weakness, fatigue, constipation, and an irregular heartbeat. To prevent potassium deficiency, your doctor may recommend eating potassium-rich foods or taking a potassium supplement. Foods rich in potassium include bananas, oranges, potatoes, and leafy green vegetables. It's important to follow your doctor's recommendations regarding potassium supplements. Taking too much potassium can be harmful. Section 6. Serious Side Effects – Recognizing the Warning Signs While most side effects of hydrochlorothiazide are mild, in rare cases, the medication can cause more serious side effects. It's crucial to be aware of these signs and seek medical attention immediately if they occur. Serious side effects include severe allergic reaction with symptoms like difficulty breathing, swelling of the face, lips or tongue, hives, and rash. Liver problems, which can manifest as yellowing of the skin or eyes, dark urine and abdominal pain. Kidney problems, which might show up as decreased urination, swelling in your legs or ankles, and fatigue. And pancreatitis, with symptoms like severe abdominal pain, nausea, vomiting, and fever. If you experience any of these symptoms, stop taking hydrochlorothiazide and seek immediate medical attention. Section 7. Allergic Reactions – Immediate Medical Attention Needed Allergic reactions to hydrochlorothiazide are rare, but can be life-threatening. It's crucial to recognize the signs of an allergic reaction and seek immediate medical attention if you experience any of the following. Hives which are raised. Itchy welts on your skin that appear suddenly. Swelling of the face, lips, tongue, or throat, which can make it difficult to breathe. Difficulty breathing or wheezing, where you may feel like you can't get enough air a rapid heartbeat, where your heart may race or pound in your chest, and dizziness or fainting, where you may feel lightheaded or pass out. If you experience any of these symptoms, call 911 or your local emergency number immediately. Section 8. When to contact your doctor. Better safe than sorry. While we've discussed some specific side effects, it's always best to err on the side of caution and contact your doctor if you experience any unusual or bothersome symptoms while taking HCTZ. Here are some general guidelines for when to contact your doctor. If your side effects are severe or don't go away, if you experience any new or unusual symptoms, if you have any concerns about the medication, or if you're unsure about how to take the medication, remember your doctor is there to help you. Don't hesitate to reach out if you have any questions or concerns. Section 9. Tips for Managing Side Effects Practical Advice If you're taking HCTZ and experiencing side effects, there are several things you can do to manage them. Take HCTZ in the morning. This can help to reduce the likelihood of nighttime urination. Stay hydrated, drink plenty of fluids throughout the day, especially water, to prevent dehydration. Eat a balanced diet, focusing on consuming potassium-rich foods, such as bananas, oranges, and leafy greens. Get regular exercise. Physical activity can help to improve circulation and reduce fluid retention. Avoid alcohol and caffeine as these substances can worsen side effects like dizziness and dehydration. And finally, talk to your doctor about over-the-counter medications, since some pain relievers can interact with HCTZ. Section 10. Living well with hydrochlorothiazide. You've got this. Taking HCTZ can be an important part of managing your health, especially if you have high blood pressure or fluid retention. While side effects are possible, remember that most people tolerate the medication well. By understanding the potential side effects and knowing when to seek medical attention, 
you can feel confident and empowered in managing your health. Don't hesitate to communicate openly with your doctor about any concerns or questions you may have. By working together, you and your doctor can ensure that you're getting the most benefit from HCTZ while minimizing any potential risks. Section 11, Conclusion. Your health is our priority. Your health and well-being are our top priorities. We hope this essay has provided you with valuable information about HCTZ and its potential side effects. Remember, knowledge is power. By being informed and proactive, you can take control of your health and make the best decisions for your well-being. If you have any further questions or concerns about HCTZ, please don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider.